What's up guys? Graham here. Getting into this Warfront pretty late. The scores are already in the 700s. Uh, but I just wanted to make a quick video of uh, an older Warfront that I did. Uh, I haven't been doing too much Pyromancer gameplay lately. so uh, But that's going to be the topic of what I wanted to talk about today. So I went ahead and just grabbed one of my Pyromancer Warfronts that I didn't record myself in. And decided to go ahead and talk about Pyromancer because I have changed my priority list on my characters I am wanting to work on my Pyromancer much more than I did before uh, if you guys follow my videos you know that my priority list on how much I was playing characters was warrior number one rogue number two cleric number three mage number four and uh, Primalist number five so really Primalist never gets played for the most part and the ones at the bottom of the list are pretty much not getting played either except for the warrior and rogue rogue was getting quite a bit of gameplay because nightblade is just so fun marksman is so strong i mean it's just it's a win-win to play a rogue well the thing is is that pyromancer is pretty much the best warfront spec out right now uh it got more of a damage boost it, it was already extremely bursty at range and now it's even stronger it's got tons of cc it's got lots of things to make it survive better with the the burning shield i believe it is and the teleport forward and you know just so many things that you can do with this spec you can uh, mage cage somebody uh whatever you'd like to do it just makes it so so strong of a spec well it got me thinking that really i need to be playing the the strongest spec in the game you know uh i, I can play like warrior and uh still focus on warrior and all that but for my main alt character i probably need to be playing the strongest thing in the game because that's what everybody else is playing you see pyromancers everywhere you see marksmen everywhere uh that kind of thing in blighted antechamber you're gonna see sins everywhere it's just stuff like that people are playing the strongest stuff in the game whenever they're warfront so why be at such a disadvantage like i have been because i'll play anything else and i can make things work uh, trust me i can get on a uh, uh a bard or anything and do really well but the thing is, is it's not a pyromancer, it's not a marksman, or anything like that. So, anytime that you play something that isn't the best thing in the game, you're kind of hindering yourself. But it's fun to play other specs, so I'm definitely going to be playing other specs as well. Uh, but, I need to gear up my mage. My, my mage has become the number one priority on my list right now, uh, behind warrior of course. And I'm going to gear him out because Pyromancer is the best Warfront spec right now. It's just so bursty. It does it at range. So much CC. So much utility. Yada, yada, yada. And Harbinger is the best melee spec right now. It's just got so much survivability and everything. So that's what I'm going to focus on. And we're going to be seeing a lot more Pyromancer gameplay as I'm gearing up this character. As you can see, I just got into the Warfront and went 6-0. Uh, showing off my gear here just showing you guys exactly what I'm actually wearing and how hindered I am even on my pyromancer because he's severely under geared so we're going to get him geared out and you better believe there is going to be some heavy nukage in war fronts real soon from the Grim Meister all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual my name is Grim and I'll see you next time 